Uh, we have created a campaign called Talk About It, and it encourages teens to talk about things that they can't normally talk about with their peers. And we have chosen prescription drug abuse because a lot of teens think that it is safe to take them because they are prescribed by a doctor, but they're not. It's important because prescription drug abuse is more prevalent in today's youth than any other drug except marijuana. Every day, over 2,000 teenagers abuse a pain reliever for the first time. And so with this whole Talk About It campaign, we want to get students talking, teachers talking, parents talking to help reduce that statistic. I never actually thought I would be affected by it. I never knew really what prescription drugs were until I was a freshman in high school. And I never thought that I would have friends that abuse them or family members or anything like that. I didn't even know what Vicodin was. Um, but it's affected me just in a way that I didn't think it would. Um, My son, Jim Jones, was a senior at uh, Canby High School, class 2011. He had uh, died on January the 29th, 2011, from uh, prescription drugs. A person that I loved and cared about is just gone. That was a part of me. That was a kid that knew the most about me than anyone else in the whole world. And it was gone, it was ripped away by, from me from because of prescription drugs. I had a friend that did use them and we talked about the use and I mean I would tell them what I thought about it and I didn't agree with it and thought they were stupid for doing it and but I I don't know I would just tell them to stop it makes them a different person it'll sneak up on you you don't think that it's uh, they're not you don't think that they're abusing it until it's too late guy okay. By the time that I actually realized that Jim was doing it, it was too late. He had already, he was already head deep in it. It was a surprise to me that he had used a medication that wasn't something that was prescribed to him. And the, and the medication that he used, I was surprised about because methadone is something that's not well known. People think that that is from the heroin clinics and it's not. It's a, a drug that is prescribed for general pain relief now. So it's a lot more accessible. I think it's ridiculous that prescription drugs are prescribed as much as they are, instead of more of a natural use. But I would just tell the parents to keep a close eye and, to, I mean, the safest way, I think, is just to keep them in their hands, to make sure that they know how many pills their child is taking and what all they are taking. And it can happen to anybody, really. Like, it can... I'm from a small town, and I never thought that it would happen, but especially not to me personally. Like I never thought that I'd be associated with someone like that or it would happen to one of my friends, but it can't happen to anybody. I would rather tell somebody and get them help than, which is, I should have done that, but I didn't. It's a lot more prevalent than they, than they think. They think that, um, that their children are not using prescription drugs. It's uh, something that's not easily seen or or you may not know that your child's abusing. If the child is prescribed something to count the pills, to keep them in their in their hands and not, you know, to allow their kid to, remi you know, remind them to take them every day. You think that you need to, to keep your medications locked up when your children are young, but when they grow up to teenagers, it's more of a risk. I could tell when he was, when he was really abusing it, I was able to know, but I never said anything and that eats away at me every day. I asked him, I was like, do you understand? Somebody just died at our school. Why are you doing this? And he got upset with me because he didn't want to hear it. And that was the last time I talked to him. <laughs> so I just wish I would have done something. <laughs> it gets taken a chunk out of my life and it's taken away my best friend. Even if you've done prescription drugs for I mean, people abuse them, and the first time it didn't kill them, but the tenth time it might. It's like the worst Russian relay with your life. It just shouldn't happen to people, that, especially my age.
So I think it's just affected me in a way that I don't want it to, but I mean, it's a learning experience. I don't want this to happen again. No one deserves to go through this type of stuff.